Welcome back to another video. We've just spent two weeks down at Tanham Sands. We spent the first week with me and my mates, and they went home. Then me and the family, we went down. We found some good holes, deeper holes during that low tide. We want to see if we can't get some big brim. We're just going to be using some baits. Let's see if we can't get into a few. We're here at the beach today. My dad's gonna paddle me out on the sub. Got that sand flat there. There's a deep hole. Got a rainbow, rainbow blind edge. We're gonna adjust some weight. There's prawns up in there. See if we can't get stuck into a few. Let's go, shall we? Okay. So I'm fishing here with my TT rod and my Helios XS, chasing some broom on a frozen prawn. And I've done something a bit different than I normally do when I'm chasing brick. I've actually put it weightless and because the reason I put it weightless is because I'm casting it out there and it's giving it a really natural drift out along this mango fly and it's coming back out that way. So that way I cover the most amount of area during this um, outgoing tide period. And the area that I'm fishing with this mango fly here is a much deeper hole. I'm currently standing on a sand flat and as the tide continues to drop. One of my favourite things about chasing these brooms with the prawns but the best way to get kids into fishing as well because you're constantly getting bites and you're constantly walking up the fish. They may not be the hugest fish in the world, but they're good fun, especially on this light here, like this GT rods here. Oh, it's a good brim. Look at that. Beautiful. Bring them up to the sub here. That's what I like to call a quality brim. What a beautiful brim. Yellow from brim here. It's 30, just on 30. I caught them on my new TT rod. Black Mamba, one to three kilo. I'm using four pound braid on this light little setup. I've got a Helios XX size 2000. This is a really light setup. It's absolutely perfect for brim fishing like this one here. Now it's time to release, release this beautiful fish go. And off he goes. Right, that's the end of today's videos, guys. Before I end the video, I just want to give you a quick tip. So when you've been fishing out on the sand flats and in the sand and mud, especially for a really long time like I have been, it's really good just to pull your reels apart like this, give them a quick oil, make sure you get out all the sand out of there so they're good and ready to go for the next time you hook onto a good fish. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.